Oh, look at the pile he left. Oh, so racist. As usual, the black character dies first. Petrified poodle. <clears throat> uh, good news, honey. We can get that get rock back one. Back house, damn it! Oh, it's cute when couples have pet My names God, for each what other. What happened? He's dead. Peppy's been killed. <gasps> but who's Peppy? house, honey. My, what kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? I'll take care of everything, honey. Get back in the house. I'll take care of everything, sweetie. I'll bring the dog back to life and make Targo not be Targo anymore. Everything. Oh, and don't slam it. Bang! That screen door. Pepe's new name, two bucks a pound in Koreatown. Oh! Come on, flinger, sidearm, go for distance. <laughs> Sorry, Pepe. Well, I don't know what she got into, but she's been out cold for hours. Well, I passed out. I gotta slow down to the vodka Kool Aids. No, no, you know what? You know what? I'm on vacation. I will do what I want. Oh, uh, hi, dear. The dog's dead. Oh, that came out all wrong. Oh, oh Mike, what could have done it? Ozzy Osbourne? Uh, so bright, uh, so what are you loud. You guys oh. talking about? Where's my dog? Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. You guys wanna do Jaeger bombs? <laughs> Party. Peppy? Yeah, listen, you've never had a dog, never. I want you to stop this foolishness about a dog. No, it's coming up. <laughs> oh, kid, she's hardcore, that kid. No. Aw, oh, come on, we haven't seen okay, a pool honey, yet. right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! Finish your homework! You know you're not allowed to be on the computer with the door shut, young man. <laughs> Man, I can't help but wonder what this cast party was like when they mm -hmm. shot this. You make me feel like dancing. Oh, oh hi. I didn't, I, I, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I got your magic fingers going. Did you what for me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? Look, sir, could you do it? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it, fast. Yeah, here I go, vroom. Yep, when you want a job done fast, Torgo's your guy. <laughs> Assuming the job is getting banned for life from the public library. Yeah. Yeah. Just got a humpback whale under the hood. <laughs> when is this guy going to start demonstrating some simple competence? Jeez. Ah, car trouble. Great, this will be embarrassing when Torgo gets there with the bags in two or three hours. What is he expecting, a big on-off switch? Let's see, poke around, look pissed off, wear a cardigan. There, I fulfilled my responsibilities as a 60s dad. <laughs> Yeah, I wish that master fellow was here. He could fix it. Oh, I wouldn't recommend running a black light over that comforter. <laughs> tr tr trust me on this one. <laughs> I, I like your dress. I could introduce you to the master. My name actually is Roger. Thrill as Torgo pressures a guest for a tip using passive aggression. <laughs> then goes self-portrait, really. Well, I've got to get going. We got some poodle meat in the freezer for you. I'll be glad to leave. I've had all this place I want. Uh, that fill out your comment dangerous. card. Now, the master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? Why, it's oily, sleazy talk. He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. And he likes to wear mittens. Personally, I think you're a C plus at best, but whatevs. Fuck. <laughs> I may have spoken out of turn. I... Well, this is super creepy, but I'll just stand right here and see where he's going with this. You're coming on a little strong, Torgo. She's just not into dating right now. Hmm, now some highlights right here would look good. I think bangs on an off the shoulder look good. Uh, you, you got a little eyebrow in your eyebrow there. When Carney's flirt. Torgo, you're coming dangerously close to crossing the line. Doctors now prescribe this scene for people who want to lose interest in sex forever. <laughs> kind of a clumsy pass there. I want a lover with a slow hand. I'd stop him, but his hand grease is volumizing. <laughs> you led me on, you gave me mixed signals. <laughs> Sorry, babe, you're sweet and all, but this is getting too heavy. Torgo's got to be free. <laughs> well, I did it. I don't regret it. Here's that toast you ordered. Okay, I'm don't you ever try that again, you beast! I'm just as God made me, Pam. you, but he can't have you. I want you. Oh, well, in that case... Hey! He wants you, but he can't have you. A lot of Cheeto dust just fell out of that beard. Hey, why don't you visit with Torgo a while? I'll be right in there, dear. Ah, so hard to concentrate with my dumb wife's anguished cries for help distracting me. Damn it. 
You know, it's probably just out of gas. Cars back then averaged like negative three miles a gallon. Turn it off. Turn it off! God, I look like Jack Klugman. Well, at least the damn dog's dead. Come on, Targo's about as threatening as a bowl of cold oatmeal. <laughs> I might have gone out with you, but you were just too pushy. Let me out of here. Let me out of here now. Do you hear now? Word for word, my Yelp review of Arby's. Look, oh, lady, I got the moves of the wallaby. <laughs> Well, give me a little moonwalk for you there, yeah. Oh, it's Senator Packwood. I meant no harm. She's a Breck girl. Forgive you. Just wait till I tell my husband. Just wait until I tell my husband. I must go cut off my left ear now. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. Because there's some weird people around here. Where's my hand? Where's my hand? Oh, oh there. Don't tell my husband. God. Now let me out. Then I have my answer. I'm walking on air. Oh, I'm beat. I'm hitting the stain. Hey, Maggie, the damn car won't start. Yeah, that's a real bitch, Daddy. And I think our daughter got into the Valium. Margaret? <laughs> damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. Near sexual assault now? makes her just slightly annoyed. Just... Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? Oh, these two. Uh -huh. Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. You know, Nikola Tesla, Orville Wright, guy who invented there the Furby. None. Don't patronize me, sir. There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. Oh, the master's one of those righteous guys who doesn't even own a TV, phone. man. The nearest phone is at the crossroads. Ten miles. 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 Ten I'll just bring the bags back to the room. Manos, the moving luggage from one place to another of fate. <laughs> you know, uh, Torgo wobbles, but he won't fall down. You know, he can fill out jodhpurs like regular pants. Mm. Mommy, didn't I have a poodle? You never had a poodle. No. Oh. <laughs> sinister isn't descriptive enough. But the screenwriter really couldn't find a thesaurus, so sinister it is. Forgotten. I'll never forget. I'll always have Torgo. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. Understand this. I'm gonna go grab a smoke. Sure. Oh, you what? Debbie's out of here. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. Didn't you just say that? Mm. As previously stated. Say, where is she? Huh? <laughs> These two might need to turn oh in their God. world's best my parents' God. mugs. <laughs> Don't get brought up. She's probably playing hide and seek. Uh, out. Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Debbie, out, you out the room. <laughs> Debbie? She misses Debbie, Debbie, but not enough to Debbie. open the door all the way. Oh, after a thorough search of the first room. <laughs> Debbie! Torgo, have you seen Debbie? I thought no. you were Debbie. I... God, help us find her. Could you page her for us? She couldn't have gone outside. The door's bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Maybe she tunneled out. You're embarrassing me in front of Torgo. <laughs> Is there another exit to the outside? <laughs> In the kitchen. Don't touch the oatmeal cookies in there. That always makes Torgo laugh. An exit in the kitchen. So nutty. <laughs> that is yeah. wild. Yeah. That door is bolted, too. Outside. These two. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. If we have to. Debbie? Dad here's not exactly Debbie? Liam Neeson in Taken, <laughs> is he? Debbie? I don't have any skills. <laughs> I got scared. The animal is no. dead. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A symbol for their love? Well, it's not framed very well. Mm. Just take a moment so the camera can get a good look at my crotch. There, there it is. There, there, honey. We can have another daughter. And a poodle, too. <laughs> Sarah, come on. Worry. You're worry. soaking my favorite golf sweater. As long as she wanders up to this specific spot that we're apparently not moving from. Honey, when you look for someone, what do you do? Debbie? Little Debbie? Uh, that is her name, right, honey? De De Debbie? Debbie knows it's Prince Spaghetti Night. Oh. 
This newfound kitchen exit sure looks a lot like the one they use every other time. I don't know. <laughs>